The Apple Vision Pro pre-orders have started. And uh, it's three and a half thousand dollars for the base model. I think that gives you 256 gigabytes. There's a 512 gigabyte option and a terabyte option, which is almost four thousand dollars. Then you have accessories like the case, which I think is two hundred dollars. Battery pack, I think it's like two hundred quid dollars. It's a lot of money, right? It's a lot of money. It's an exciting time because this is Apple's first product in this virtual reality space. But I think it's going to be a struggle for them. It's not the first VR headset. You have the Quests, uh, you have the PlayStation VR 2, and um, there's some other ones as well. So like back in the day with the MP3 players, there were already MP3 players out there when Apple launched the iPod. But when the iPod launched, things were just much more intuitive. It was a cool design. Um, it was an intuitive design as well. And uh, it really propelled that market. So now Apple are in the VR game, I think it's going to make the market more compelling. However, um, the prices are, I mean, three and a half thousand dollars is a lot of money. Now, I'm not sure in the UK, I mean, that converts to, I think, around 2,700 pounds. But I can imagine the UK price being probably about £3,000. So it's a lot of money. Is it something that I would get? I don't know. I mean, I'm interested in trying it. Um, I'd certainly try it in an Apple store to see how good it was, because it's very difficult to see how good these virtual reality headsets are without trying them. I have the, the original PSVR. As a VR headset, it's okay. I can see a lot of the pixels. Um, when I'm sitting down and using it, the... Um, the tracking can go awry and I have to keep constantly sort of reset the picture. So it's uh, like if I'm watching, I don't know, Netflix or something, um, or playing a game, I just have to keep resetting it so the picture goes in the middle. It was really annoying. I still have it and I haven't got a PSVR 2 because I want to try it. But Sony don't have any the I've seen demo units. They don't have a, a store, I don't think. Um, and they haven't invested money in, you know, putting up uh, a PSVR 2. So, you know, obviously we just had Christmas. Um, I've been to some, you know, shopping centres and I couldn't see any PSVR 2 demo booths. All they need is like, a, you know, a little booth <clears throat> in one of these shopping centres for people to try. But they don't do that. Um, Apple, though... I, I'm sure we'll put them out in their stores, <clears throat> their headset, for people to try. And that will be compelling. But you have the price of the, uh, the VR headset, which is not a compelling price. And that's going to be an issue. So I think that a lot of people will probably wait for a second revision of this Apple Pro, the Apple Pro 2, or maybe Apple will release an Apple Pro... Um, SE, you know, well, mind you, they wouldn't have the Pro, would they? Vision SE, maybe? So something that is not as high resolution, maybe not as powerful, but is more affordable. I don't know. So I'm, I want to try one. I don't want to buy one at that price. But I'm excited to see what can be done. I like the idea of a spatial video. But if you look at the specification on the Apple website, for the camera, or cameras, it doesn't say the, uh, the resolution. I think it's 1080p, which if it is for a $3,500 unit, is atrocious. It should at least be 4K. Um, also, when you look at the spatial videos on the visor, they seem to be in this square format with a, a haze around it. So it's not widescreen. So I'd need to see a lot more detail about what the spatial video, what it, the ins and outs of it, you know, what the actual specification of it. I mean, I have a, a 3D camera. I've still got it. It still works. And I, 
that might do 720p though. But nevertheless, um, I can still do 3D video. So this visor really needs to, uh, visor, this, the Apple Pro really needs to um, have a lot going for it for the spatial video for me. That's one of my primary reasons that I would buy one. Um, the workspace, I don't know if, I, I mean, it. it's hard to see how I would benefit from just watching videos in 2D on a screen. You know, I need to try the visor. It could be fantastic for work, right? It looks like it's going to be great for watching films, which I like as well. Um, but for the workspace, could be useful, but I really need to try it first. Um, they haven't really shown off any sort of games. They haven't really marketed this as a gaming device. Um, which again, I mean, I would have thought they would have games, but um, I, I don't know. I would like it to have games, of course, because then I wouldn't need to contemplate, you know, a Quest um, or a PSVR 2. So yes, um, I think you're probably going to get, there's going to be a lot of buzz around it. You're going to see a lot of the uh, big tech YouTubers probably get um, versions sent to them or the Apple Pro sent to them to try, maybe to keep. Um, but bear in mind, if someone does get it for free, they've got it for free, you know. Um, yeah. So if Apple are watching, I wouldn't mind a free Apple Vision Pro. But um, <laughs> there we go. So yes, um, let me know your thoughts about the Apple Vision Pro. Is it something that you would get? And if you would get it, what would you be using it for? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.